As of October 30th, 2023, our reported fraud losses are 500 million. So we're expected to exceed last year's already historic losses. As we get into the holidays, the Canadian AT Fraud Centre releasing its list of what to watch out for. Everything from fake charities, emergencies and prizes. Acting Detective Sergeant with the OPP and Canadian AT Fraud Centre, John Armit, says the technology we use to shop and stay in touch with loved ones is being used against us and says you can turn those same tools back around and use them to potentially spot a scam. Go on um, you know, whatever social media plat or platform to search and type in what you think the fraud is or what you see. Maybe it's a link or maybe it's a phone number. Put that into like a Google search engine. Being the holidays, are there any particular frauds off of this list that really uh, get amplified? Absolutely. I think the uh, the selling of goods and services online. You know, I, I, I'm looking at the list here and I see some that are pretty obvious for the holidays. You know, your secret Santa, uh, gift cards. But then there are some here, romance scams. I think of that as a Valentine's thing. But do you find that that's still an issue into the holidays? Absolutely. Romance uh, scams are 24-7. For To get money back after you've lost it, is that more the exception or the rule? Uh, we have had successes in the past of recovering funds, um, but it's the exception, not the rule. What, 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 is, what is it that's challenging for law enforcement? You know, I think we all picture you've got the room full of screens and we just hand you our transaction. You can go and track down where the fraudster is and go and nab them. Is that, is that not the case? Well, the challenge in, in the current climate with law enforcement now is um, there's a real significant demand on our resources. Um, that's a challenge. The globalization of these fraudsters uh, and the use of their technology where they anonymize their information, uh, they use VPNs, and maybe the money's wired overseas. He adds if you've been a victim, report it to police and the anti-fraud center. And most of all warns if you're being rushed into taking advantage of an unusually good opportunity, that's a big red flag. For City News, I'm David Zura.